Alcoholic faggot who gets drunk on dick. Some come trying to break your chin and your board and start to the alcoholic faggot who gets drunk on dick. Some come trying to break your chin and your board and start to If you grew up in Australia, you're gonna know about this battle. 360 versus Cursor. I'm gonna take you inside the scenes and tell you what really happened. It all started back in 2010, when the likes of Got Beef and Grind Time Now were hosting battles all across Australia. Back when the likes of Dundee, Manazil and Greeley were all starting to make names for himself in the battle scene. Before putting their names up to step in the ring at these events, 360 and Cursor had already released their own music which was starting to gain them a bit of a buzz. When they first started battling at these events, they both stood out and quickly became two of the crowd's favourites. To get a really fuckers out buying lagers from us, but even then they make him wear a belt of clave and a fuck. <laughs> I bet his missus is one of those crusty bitches pushing a whack pram, <laughs> sipping a black can with cum stains on a track pan. <laughs> Curse's music more had a street style approach to it, especially hailing from Western Sydney, while 360, a Melbourne boy, had more of a pop melodic style to his music. They were both carving their own lanes and making music like no one else in Australia was making at the time. This caused them both to stand out in the battle scene but worked in their favour because both of their battles were getting the most views at the time. 360 and Cursor were definitely great MCs but they both brought a comedic style to their battle raps which really got the crowd involved. They both started winning and making a name for themselves very quickly. Here's some of the most notable battles. 360 vs Keno. If I was half blind I'd say that you're Fat Joe. But I'd be half lying because you're more fat though. <laughs> and Cursor vs Zone Doubt. It's dope rhymes, these cunts know it's showtime and you're the cunt that steals the socks off my clothesline. <laughs> And after a few battles, people were already requesting for 360 and Cursor to battle next. Here's what Greeley told DJ Sanchez in an interview via The Lesson. And I met both those guys at that event and I think they both kind of represent a massive sort of demographic in Australia, you know what I mean, in their own each ways. There were so many different styles of a clash, like even two years before the battle happened, people were asking to see it because they were both such characters, you know, in the kind of both easily relatable to certain sides of the, of the country and Australian culture, you know what I mean? At the time, both of their music careers really started to gain some traction. 360 released a stream of mixtapes titled Please Be Seated with hits like Shutterbug. Nerd rappers need to rap in lamest terms. For me though, it's fuck safety first. It goes alcohol, alcohol drugs, drugs, then safety's third. In the last and Cursor had linked up with Hustle Heart TV and dropped the massive street anthem titled Highest Man. I see my old enemies, the cunts are on my dick. The world change ain't just better on mics. If we compare me and you, I'm just better at life. I've got time for my friends, fam, and my fucking fans, man. The noise got louder for the battle to happen, and one of the key factors in setting up the battle was legendary Tasmanian MC Greeley. They both battled Greeley in the past, with 360 losing and Cursor winning, so it only made it right that they battled each other next. Greeley also did a lot of work behind the scenes and hosted a lot yeah, of these battles. For a long battles. time that that battle especially was going to pop off, mm. and um, I think it kind of... like I, I, I battled 360, I think it was December in 2010, and then I set up battle against Cursor in February you know, 2011 in hopes that like I could then eventually set up that main matchup you know what I mean and because um, and I beat 360 and then I lost to Cursor it kind of went hand in hand that they battle next. After years and years of this battle brewing it was finally decided that December 17th at the Laundry Bar in Melbourne that this battle was finally going to happen. I hope you're ready to stand the fuck up. What's that? Shush cunt. That's what I thought. I'm on another motherfucking level. 360 vs Cursor is finally happening, eh? It's finally fucking here. Cursor is the sickest. Cursor is the sickest. We'll see about that, won't we, mate? 360 vs Cursor. December 17th at the Laundry in Melbourne. On Grind Time Australia. Grind Time now. Come here, good I think another key factor into why this battle actually happened is because they were both set to release albums around the time of the battle. Cursor with his highly anticipated debut album The Nebulizer and 360 with his commercially successful album Falling and Flying. They both agreed on the night that there'd be no judges and the battle was going to be left up to the fans to decide. Why didn't they get judged? Oh, Prior to it, fucking me and 360 agreed we'd have a promo. No judges, just because we don't really. We both agree most Aussie judges don't really. They very rarely get the 
decision right. So we thought fucking... This decision would also go on to haunt them for a very long time. Fans today still debate over who won the battle. As the battle got closer, it pretty much split the nation. You're either a fan of 360 or you're a fan of Cursor. There was no sitting on the fence. But it wasn't all smooth sailing for Cursor. The night before the battle, he had a run in with police and they even warned him not to go to Melbourne to battle 360. Here's what he says in his song Unwritten Letter. And we think I need the pities. Imagine if I left them out the back, they probably would have shit it. And they said I can't leave Sydney. Fuck that next day battle 60. Me and Racy, we said fuck it. Travel down there just to rip it. But I Thankfully, Cursor turned up on the day. Then, on December 17th, the battle finally happened. 360 vs Cursor at a sold out venue at the Laundry Bar. When the battle was uploaded to YouTube, in just under a month it had 1 million views and then became the highest viewed battle in the world. I'm Kirsten, this is 360. Fucking, we are battling. We're battling, fucking hell. I'm about to beat him soon. And then that's going to stop the discussion. We debated for years. Yeah. On the night, they both brought their A-game and the battle lived up to the hype. Here's some of the highlights. Fucking sell out on behalf of the Oz map. Fuck you and every metro that you brought into Oz rap. Yeah. You reckon everyone loves you? You take bitches home and expect them to fuck you, but no girl wants to fuck a dude who dresses like a tennis instructor. <laughs> Falling and flying. I bought it online. When I sit here imagining his family tree, I see each member smoking a bong wearing a Slazenger tee. The battle was a massive success with fans all across the country still to this day trying to decide who won the battle. But the overall winner was hip hop in Australia. The fact that you're watching this video in 2022 proves just how big this battle was. Personally, I think it's one of the biggest moments in Australian hip hop history. Both of them carving lanes for other artists just like them in the future. As for 316 Cursor, all it did was boost their careers. Since this battle, they've gone on to have nothing but success in music. You can't. You, there's fucking heaps of you, I'm not going to deny that. But you cunts mustn't leave your fucking room, mate. Get, get some sunshine, get... You're all over that internet smashing it, so... Or you just to piss you off even more. I'm going to get hustle hard and not allow you to add comments to this video. You can stop, you can stop all the fucking crazy ass beefing and trolling each other's pages and shit. Leave curse alone, he doesn't need it. I don't need it. Let's just move on. It's a good battle. While the battle eventually died down, even though fans were still debating, 360 out of nowhere dropped the diss track titled 30 Minutes Top aimed at Cursor. Praises or be playing your shit. I think your name and come up in my playlist a bit. Yeah, I lied, but he said I had a Canadian chin. Yeah, I lied, but what the fuck is a Canadian chin? So I don't watch a battle anymore, yo, I exited. That's two bits broken down, can't imagine the rest of it. Cursor then quickly responded, wasting no time at all with a track titled Old Matt. Bruh. Your career's at a standstill, I see bruh And you're needing some attention so you're calling out the curse Name your pop used to touch you up since you hit the first grade And that's the reason for the Mickey tag I didn't want to bring it up but you're tripping man Thankfully the beast stayed in the music They both went on to show how much respect they had for each other after the battle And also saying that fans still to this day think there's a beef between them that yeah, man, that, that that was an amazing experience, and I think that was something that you know was has the ramifications of that have like kicked on till today. You know, like every time every time I meet people and shit, fans will come up and be like, "Oh, fuck, cursor and shit." It's like, dude, we're not actually we don't actually hate each other. Like that was fucking ages ago. Yeah. You know, like there's we we're, we have like respect for one another. And they all that was just the perfect matchup. 360 being the Metro, more, yeah, well, that's the only word I can describe it with. Um, and Cursor being more the lad, street shit. It was just, it was both rap, but it was two opposites. It's a classic battle looking back, man. It's sick. Like, that holds a place in Australian history, man. Like, um, Fans will go on to debate forever as to who won, but the overall winner was the Australian hip hop scene. Thanks for watching. I'd like to thank Cursor and 360, DJ Sanchez at The Lesson, Hustle Hard TV, and also please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want to see me cover next. Thank you.